lesson we built the reverse foot roll rig which we see here and then we mirrored it over and the next thing we need to do in this lesson is go ahead and constrain those various joints so let's go ahead and get started with that I'm gonna come in here and select the last one right here that's our uh, reverse lock left side ankle and then I'm going to shift select the IK handle and with those two selected, because we're going to constrain it to the IK handle, so it's important you choose them in that order. So I'm going to come under Constrain, Point Constrain, Option Box. Just uh, reset the settings on here. We'll use the default settings and apply that. So that's now constrained to that. You can see that working. Okay. And we're going to move on down the chain here. So I'm going to grab the next one. Make sure I've got the right one. That's it right there. I think I'm going to uh, template that so we can see through here a little bit better. So I've got the uh, reverse lock left side ball joint and I'm going to come up here and shift select the bone for the, uh, uh, the ankle bone and we're going to constrain those two now. So let's come under, uh, we're going to do this a little bit differently. We're going to orient constrain that. So let's open up the option box for that. I'm going to just come in here and reset the values and uh, show you what happens uh, if we do this just with the default settings here. I can hit apply and you can see uh, this kind of swung out here to the back. Uh, the orientation of this joint up here is different than the one down here that we constrained it to, so it caused it to pop over like that, which uh, we don't want. I'm just going to undo that. But we have an option here that we can use called maintain offset. So we're going to check that and then go ahead and apply it and that will fix that little problem right there. Go ahead and close that. All right, so we've got that one set and then the last one we need to do is the toe. So I'm going to grab the toe uh, for the uh, reverse lock and then shift select that one right there. The next one up on the, uh, the foot come under here and just go ahead and open that up again. We're going to do the same thing with the maintain offset on and just go ahead and apply that. Close it down. All right, so if we uh, grab that and uh, try rotating it, we should be able to back out here a little bit. See how the foot is rotating now. It's looking a little bit more natural. All right. Uh, likewise back here, uh, this should be rotating better. And same thing here with this one. Let's grab the right one. Okay. And just back out here so you can see what that's doing. Okay, so that's the ball of the, the foot right there, rolling. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, just quickly do that to the other side here. So I'm going to come over and grab the top one for the uh, reverse lock ankle and shift select the IK handle come under constraint point constraint and we just go ahead and drop that in there we've got the settings in there already and come down to the next joint here on the reverse lock shift select the bone that we want to constrain it to come under constraint orient constraint got the option set for that correctly and continue on down here with the toe shift select the next bone up and come under constrain and orient all right and we can just check those see if they're working so that one's working fine and let's grab our next one here should grab the inside one let's grab the one on the outside there we go. And come back here, get the heel bone, and see that that is working also. All right. So with that done, uh, the next thing we need to do is come in here and actually build some controls that are going to be a little bit more animator friendly. 
for them to work with, or you if you end up being the animator for this. Uh, these controls right here, uh, you can certainly animate with those, but they're, you know, as you saw, it's very hard to select them. So we're going to build uh, a control for that around each of the feet and uh, go ahead and set that up uh, for animation. And we'll do that in the next lesson.